And welcome back to the Steve Malsberg Show, ladies and gentlemen. And after talking to uh, Senator Graham about his efforts to uh, get to the bottom of Benghazi, we uh, stay with the military theme, if you will. And uh, we welcome in uh, one of the great uh, men who's done such wonderful, wonderful work at serving our country and serving uh, under President Reagan and others. And, 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 and for the books he's written, the series he's done on Fox uh, News Channel, we welcome in uh, Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North. Hello, sir. Steve, it's great to be with you. Uh, I tell you, just to all, let your, all of your listeners know, Griff Jenkins <laughs> and you are two of the great guys in the, in the world. And I, I claim as the responsibility of the guy that introduced you. Well, I appreciate I appreciate yeah. that. I appreciate that. It's great to have you on the show, and I know Thank you're you. going to come back. But but, but you are the author uh, of, of the latest in your your series of American heroes of books, New York Times bestsellers, all, and this one, of course, the same. And we're talking about Oliver North, uh, American heroes on the home front, the hearts of heroes. I'm holding the book up for all at Newsmax uh, TV to see. You you start this book, and 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 you talk about the fact that um, you go back to Vietnam and. And, and you, you introduce us to someone who helped save your life. Um, and you, you, you talk about how, well, I find this to be very interesting, and I wonder how, how uh, common it is that so many of the people fighting in today's wars for us uh, in the war on terror had, had a lineage back to, you know, the earlier wars like Vietnam. Well, as a matter of fact, I ask every guy when, when I'm out there embedded. I just came back here a few weeks ago for my 57th embed. Wow. Out there. And in fact, some of the pictures in this book were taken on that trip out there with, for example, uh, General Joe Dunford. All color pictures, by the way. They yeah. are fantastic. 200 plus photographs. Yeah. And some of it much, you know, we I've never allowed, even though Griff Jenkins, when he was my cameraman, and Chuck Holton and Mal James, when my cameraman and I are out there and your helmet cam is on and something terrible happens, well, of course you catch it. But I've never allowed the footage of those guys getting hurt particularly if their faces were showing, to go up on air. And so when we were putting this book together, one of the things that they asked me is, we, we want the American people to understand what happened to us, not just the fact that we're missing a limb or an eye or, or whatever, but we want the American people, I said, you know, this is pretty graphic stuff, guys, and you can see it in there. And it takes you literally from the moment of impact, in some cases, obviously, you go all the way back to when they first came into the military. Yeah. And then show what transpired in the process of them being grievously wounded, and then in the process of recovery and rehabilitation. Now, you mentioned the Vietnam era, guys. There's, there are three Vietnam, besides me, three Vietnam era folks in this book. Because yeah. this book is not about me. This is about the people I know, the American heroes with whom I've gotten to keep company. You, you look at the Al Carpenter story in the back of the book. You look at Tim Lee in the back of the book. Those are both Vietnam era heroes. And, and the it's not just them. It's their families who are heroes. At the front of the book, the picture of Jack Fowler and me standing there at Walter Reed Bethesda back in July this year. And Jack Fowler is the United States Navy corpsman who literally saved my life in, in Vietnam. Jack Fowler today is still treating. He went, came back grievously wounded, hero, took the GI Bill, came back in the Navy as an officer, and has, has been treating people in the Navy for traumatic brain injury, for post-traumatic stress, for chronic pain ever since. And so here's a guy who from the war of Vietnam is still treating guys in the war against terror. And the connection is the young guys, when they come out of surgery, Jack Fowler will very often be the first guy they see. And Jack Fowler can look him in the eye and say, you've been through a life-changing experience. You can either sit here and wonder why and, and do a shoulda, woulda, coulda, or you and, you and I can get together and make you even better than you were before. But you've got to decide, and I know what you're talking about, because Jack Fowler, I've been there, I've done that. And so what you're seeing right there is, I think, the beginning of a metamorphosis for a lot of these guys, who otherwise might be just kind of the VA, the VA model, the Veterans Administration model, Sit there and vegetate in the room, and we'll bring you three squares a day, and we'll change your bed sheets after you wet them. And unfortunately, that's the attitude of too much of the VA. 
The military medical system we've got today, Steve, is the best. Well, in the that, world. that's exactly what I wanted to talk to you about because you do point out in the book that so many of our heroes um, are coming home today that would not have come home in previous wars, thanks Absolutely. to the, the 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 army medics and the medical treatment they get. But when they get home, uh, the VA has a lot of catching up to do. Well, it also takes. I mean, think about it. the guys on average in this book to process through after they've they've begun rehab. They're getting better. The military will keep them on until they're able to take care of themselves, right? And so they've now been in the hospital for two, two and a half, sometimes three years, and now they process out to the VA. It takes an average of 22 months to process the VA paperwork. What the hell is going on at the VA that it takes 22 months to process the paperwork for a guy who's missing three limbs? I don't get it. Yeah, you know, I, I, I want to just go quickly. We have a few minutes left to Mika and Luke's dad. And you, you, you talk about this, what, this girl, the 14-year-old girl, who takes to Facebook and writes, six months until my birthday, five months until Christmas, four months till Thanksgiving, three months till Halloween, and less than a month until my daddy leaves for Afghanistan. My daddy won't be here for these events or the next eight months. Please keep him and my family in your prayers. Um, and then she writes, tomorrow he leaves. I'm going to miss my daddy. Wish he could stay here with me. I mean, I, I, had a, I was choking up. I have a 14-year-old son. I was choking yeah. up. Well, I'll tell you something. I, I'm, I'm uh, a little confession time. My, my wife said to me after we did a TV documentary that basically gave legs to this project, was she said to me, you never understood what we were going through back home, did yeah. you? And yeah. I didn't. And I have to confess that. And that's what motivated this book. That's why this book is dedicated to that woman right there on the front page who is my hero. And she raised the family all by herself. When, you know, I was off doing my war thing, you know, even, even as recently as this war, you're totally absorbed. You're 24-7. Oh, you have the adrenaline, all yeah. the rest of it. They have uncertainty, anxiety, and never knowing when the chaplain's going to walk up the front walk and right. give and you the most terrible news. And, of, of course, your embeds uh, certainly pose a risk. And, of course, you're talking about your lovely wife, Betsy. This is a great, great Christmas present for any any patriot, anybody who loves our country, anybody who knows or, or, or has loved a soldier or maybe a would-be soldier, grandson, son, daughter, granddaughter. I mean, the book is American Heroes on the Home Front, The Hearts of Heroes, Oliver North. Uh, Colonel, thank you so much, sir. I look forward to being with you again. I'll be back. You, you Th got my promise. Steve. Thank you, and say hello to Griff. We'll do, buddy. <laughs> All thank right. You. Oliver North, ladies and gentlemen, just an amazing, amazing book in the continuing series. And, of course, do you suffer from joint discomfort? Contrary to what the experts may say,